Good morning, elect. I'm here to give a study this morning, and the study will be I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. And we're going to start our study this morning in 2 Peter um, chapter 3, starting with verse 1. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. Uh, your pure minds, um, this this mind is purified in the spirit um the second epistle as in a written message um remembrance as a recollection of the power of recalling a memory of something this being um as in memory of the first day when we were celestial um, but first god has to awaken your um, minds to that spiritual realm we are now in a spiritual slumber until we are awakened this awakening happens at his visitation this is when he comes when um, when we are sleeping as in slumber uh, we will hear a, a sound of church bells they will ring twice as a double witness the bells were on the bottom of the high priest robe this is your high priest Melchizedek that is coming to visit you you will then see a vision of a man sleeping with breath being blown on him this will be the quickening making you spiritually alive where you will be able to remember be uh, uh, um, recall uh, every you know we will know everything um in the spirit uh, he has to awaken us first um before we can recall um in the spiritual realm because it is in a different dimension uh our brains are limited in knowledge uh you um when he awakens you uh, you will then see a vision of a man sleeping with breath being blown on him and uh, when you um, see this a man with the breath being blown on him uh, you will know then that you have been anointed into the little levitical priesthood of the end days it is jesus christ himself that will anoint his priesthood um, then on um, back to um, 2 Peter 3 verse 2 that you may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us the apostles of the Lord and Savior uh, the memory that will be recollected in the prophets um, and apostles being the sent ones that are sent out that go, um, that come forth after they receive of the Holy Spirit the lord yahweh and savior yeshua um we will know um we will um know um our memory will be recollected by the prophets um they will reveal the secrets knowing this first that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust um, knowing as to understand this first scoffers being a false teachers um, also meaning to deride as to laugh at and scorn or contempt uh, ridicule um, their own lust as in the flesh and saying where is the promise of his coming for since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Uh, promise as an announcement, as for information, uh, assent as an ex 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 um, expression of approved uh, after thoughtful consideration. Um, A promise of his coming as to return specifically of Christ to punish Jerusalem or uh, finally the wicked um, Christ being Christos the anointed one by implication physical aspect which is a particular status or phrase in which something appears or may be regarded a way in which um, a thing may be viewed or regarded an interpretation um, Fell, uh, since the fathers fell asleep as to be put to sleep as in slumber uh, to decease but now is Christ as in Christos the anointed one risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept behold I will show you a mystery we shall not all sleep but we shall be changed uh, the six day man can still labor and do all its work 
the sixth dimension of time. But at the seventh dimension of time, the sixth day man's labor and work will be finished, and it will be time for the seventh, um, seventh day man to come forth in the spirit. The seventh dimension of time, when we, when we will be in the spirit again as when we were of the first day. For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. Willingly as to choose, um, ignorant, as in um, to be hid of, unawares, um, st standing out, um, constitute as to be a part of a whole, of a whole, to create uh, a new government, and in as in um, um, demoting the channel of an act, um, standing out of the water as in rainy and in the water. For the lamb which was in the midst of the throne shall feed them and shall lead them unto living fountains of waters. And God shall wipe away all their tears from their eyes. And he said unto me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the waters of life freely. There will be the fountains of waters, and then there will be the flood waters. Um, there is the water, as in rainy, as in the early and the latter rain. And then I'm going to go over, hold your place, but I'm going to go over to Genesis 6, 1. And it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, daughters being the spiritual side of man coming forth, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. Sons of God as an angelic beings, they took as to become one with them in marriage to resist the union of God, um, a Holy Spirit with man. And the Lord said, My spirit, as in my Holy Spirit, shall not always strive with man, for that he is also flesh, because he chose flesh, yet his days shall be a hundred and twenty years. A hundred and twenty means the divinely appointed time uh, when God will save twelve thousand from each tribe of Israel, being the hundred and forty-four thousand. And there were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that. When the sons of God came into the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men, which were of old men of renown. Uh, giants as a feller, uh, a, a feller is one who cuts down trees as a lumberjack, a tyrant, um, a cruel oppressor, uh, in those days. And also after that, prophetically, they bare children to them. Mighty men, as in powerful, warrior, champion, were of old, as in concealed, uh, time of mind, out of mind, uh, past or future, um, beginning of the world. Um, these, um, ha this happened at the beginning, um, but um, we are um, ignorant of that because God has put a spiritual slumber on us. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man has become as one of us to know good and evil, that being that spiritual man uh, coming in that has more knowledge than us. And now, lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat uh, can live for, and, and live forever. Men of renown as in marked, as in character, um, as in a name. And they said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower, which, whose top may reach unto heaven, and let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the earth. Therefore is the name of, of it Babel, because the Lord did um, there confound the language of all the earth, and from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of the earth. Uh, God's children, all of all will go into um, ba Babel, but God's children will be born out of Zerubbabel. 
And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually, because he is of the flesh, with fleshly desires, lust, that is contrary to the Holy Spirit. Uh, the flesh is contrary to the Holy Spirit. It will fight against it. And it repented the Lord that he made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. This being that six-day man of the earth, as an earthly and the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast and the creeping thing and the fowls of the air, for it repenteth me that I have made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Noah meaning rest, quietness of attitude, um, also to lead or guide. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations, and Noah walked with God generations as in family history of Noah uh, Noah meaning to rest as in quietness of attitude a leader or a guide just as in righteous lawful perfect as in truth being upright in his generations as in a revelation of time uh, an age a generation these are the generations of the heavens and um, as in celestial and of the earth as in earthly when they were created in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. Prophetically, the sixth day generation will become the seventh generation um, at, at, as in the dimension of time. Uh, it, will, it, will, it will change over to a spiritual um, dimension. And Noah begot three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Um, three sons, three as in the Holy Spirit, and sons meaning the builders of the family. Um, Shem meaning name, but the ancients saw one's name as a summary of deeds and traits in that person. Uh, as such a person's name would have the function of reminding other people of a memorable event, a name, fame, reputation, identity, personality. And, and Ham having two completely different Hebrew names, two different meanings. Ham one meaning to be hot or, or a protective wall, as in mental, um, to be excited or angered. And Ham two means to be um, noisy, a multitude of wailings. Um, and Japheth meaning enlargement, uh, widespreading, as in gossip and rumors. The earth was also corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth, corrupted his way as in the flesh, uh, not heavenly, upon, upon the earth as in earthly. And God said unto Noah, The end of all flesh has come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Um, through them, this being the sons of God, uh, and prophetically, um, through um, being the locust army, which will be the supernatural coming to mix with flesh, uh, taking them to the perverse spirit instead of the Holy Spirit. Uh, all flesh without the spirit. Um, the six, six, six man. And make thee an ark of gopher wood. Room shall thy make in the ark, and shall pitch it within and without with pitch. Uh, pitch us to cover, make an atonement, cleanse, purge away. Uh, a reconciliation um, the ark representing of, of the mercy seat and this is the fashion which thy shall make it the length of the ark shall be 300 cubits the breadth of it 50 cubits and the height of it 30 cubits and a window shall thy make to the ark and a cubit shall thy finish it above and the door of the ark shall shall thy set in the side thereof with lower second and the third story shall thy make it it is he that buildeth his stories as to elevate um, a journey as in a journey to a higher place as in thought in the heaven as in celestial and has founded his troop in the earth he that calleth for the waters of the sea and poureth them out upon the face of the earth the Lord is his name and behold I even I do bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh wherein is the breath of life from under heaven and everything that is in the earth shall die uh, from under heaven that is in the earth as an earthly shall die the seventh dimension the appointed time of waiting when the spiritual man is to come forth the six-day man's labor and work will be finished 
But with thee will I establish my covenant. And thy shall come into the ark, thy and thy sons, and thy wife, and thy sons' wives with thee. Um, this being Noah, meaning rest, those that are at rest abode in the celestial, uh, as in the seed of the stars. And we're going to read of in Genesis 15, starting with verse 4. And behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, This shall not be thy heir, but he that shall come forth out of thy own bowels shall be thy heir. And he brought it him forth abroad and said look now towards heaven and tell the stars if thy be able to number them and he said unto him so shall thy seed be if thy will be able to number them they be in the twelve stars that are in her crown and there appeared a great wonder in heaven a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and upon her head a crown of twelve stars Twelve symbolizing God's power and authority as well as serving as a perfect governmental foundation symbolizing the completeness of the nation of Israel as a whole. Uh, Twelve thousand from each tribe of Israel being the hundred and forty-four thousand. And he believed in the Lord and he counted it to him for righteousness. And we're going to go back to Genesis um, 6 verse 19 and of every living thing of all flesh two of every sort shall thy bring into the ark to keep them alive uh, with thee they shall be male and female um, um, and of all the fowls of their kind and of cattle after their kind and of every creeping thing of the earth after his kind two of every sort shall they come into thee to keep them alive and take thou unto thee all food that is eaten, and I shall uh, gather it to thee, and it shall be uh, for food for thee and for uh, them. There will be two types of nourishments, two types of people um, going um, to into this ark. Um, this ark being the mercy seat, uh, the time of grace. Um and take thou unto thee okay and thus did Noah according to all that God commanded him so did he uh, he all that he commanded him to do he listens to the commands of the Lord on um, and then chapter 7 verse 1 and the Lord said unto Noah come thou and all thy house into the ark for thee I've seen righteousness before me in this generation righteousness before me in this generation as in age revelation of time as in celestial as in the stars and of every clean beast uh, thy shall take to thee by sevens, the male and, and his female, and of beasts that are uh, not clean by two, the male and his female, of the fowls of the air by sevens, and male, uh, the male and the female to keep seed alive upon the face of all the earth. For yet seven days, and I will cause it to rain upon the earth forty days and forty nights, and every living substance that I have made will I destroy from off the face of the earth. Uh, seven days, this going from seven to three and a half to five months, with the last five months split into two and a half month segments. The first two and a half will be the Elijah ministry, the, um, the manna. Behold, I will send Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he shall uh, turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. There is the earthly flesh um, uh, father, Jacob, the heel grabber, the supplanter, and the spiritual father, Israel. He will rule as God, who prevailed over the flesh man. The Elijah ministry will lead them to, to what father they will choose. They, um, they have that choice. And the last two and a half months, being when the spiritual man is to come forth, the probation time will be ended. Probation meaning um, the release of a prisoner, as in release from its fleshly prison, subject to a period of good behavior under supervision, the process of a period of, fa of testing or observing the character or abilities of a person uh, in a certain role. Um, five. And Noah did according to all, uh, all the Lord commanded him, and Noah was 600 years old when the flood waters was upon the earth. And Noah went in, and his sons, and his wife, and his sons' wives with him into the ark, 
because the, of the waters of the flood. Um, because of the waters of the, of the flood. They went into the ark. Um, and then eight. And of clean beasts and of beasts that are not clean and of fowls and everything that creepeth upon the earth, they there went in two, and two unto Noah into the ark. Um, the male and the female as God had commanded Noah. And it came to pass uh, after seven days that the waters of the flood uh, were upon um, the earth. Uh, after seven days, um, as in the spiritual completeness, in the 600th year of Noah's life, in the se second month, in the 17th day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up, and the windows of heaven were open. The windows of heaven were open, this being um, the opening of the celestial realm uh, at the seventh dimension of time, prophetically. And the rain was upon the earth 40 days and 40 nights. The rain as in the water, Second uh, um, Peter um, 3, um, verse 5, standing out of the water and in the water, as in rainy. There is that probation time that are, um, that are of the day and probation of those that are of the night. Uh, two types of people, those that, will, that, those that will go into the ark, as in um, the water and, the, and those that stand out of the water, as in um, the flesh. Uh, be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth, and has long patience for it until he receive the early and the latter rain. Then shall we know if we follow on to know the Lord. His going forth is prepared as the morning, and he shall come unto us as the rain, as, as um, to latter and the former rain unto the earth. And the self same day entered Noah and Shem and Ham and Japheth, the sons of Noah, and Noah's wife, and the three wives of his sons unto them into the ark, and every and they and every beast after his kind, and all the cattle after their kind, and every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth after his kind, and every fowl after his kind, every bird of every sort. And they went in unto Noah into the ark, two and two of all flesh wherein is the breath of life. They went in unto Noah into the ark. Um, Noah being that intercessor who, who walks and communes with God, uh, prophetically being the two witnesses. And they went in and went in, and they went in and went in male and female of all flesh as God commanded him and the Lord shut him in. And they went in uh, in verse for, uh, 15 and they went in unto Noah Noah meaning rest um, and then they went in uh, male and female of all flesh there are the two types of people as God commanded him and the Lord shut him in uh, this being him that spirit within and the flood was 40 days upon the earth and the waters increased and bare up the ark and it was lift up above the earth and it was lifted up above the earth this being um the heavenly throne uh, the mercy seat above the earth and the waters prevailed and were increased greatly upon the earth and the ark went up upon the face of the waters um prophetically will be the flood waters um of lies and deceit of the perverse spirit and the waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth, and all the high hills that were under the whole heaven uh, were covered. Um, the high hills, those that are lofty, high, lifted up, as in proud, they speak over, over um, Yahweh of the Spirit. They do not rest um, with him, um, being that one voice, um, the many-membered body of spirit-filled people, but they choose to speak for God um, under heaven 
uh, they were uh, that were under the whole heaven were covered 15 cubits upward did the waters prevail and the mountains were covered uh, that be in nations and all flesh died that moved upon the earth both of, of fowl and of cattle and of beasts and every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth and every man this being those that are on the earth under heaven uh, not um, the stars as in celestial this is under heaven and all in whose nostrils was the breath of life all that was in the dry land died and every living substance was destroyed which was upon the face of the ground both man and cattle and the creeping things and the fowl of the heaven and they were destroyed from the earth and Noah only remained alive and they that were with him in the ark uh, alive as in quicken and they that were with him in the ark that being that spirit that is within uh, Noah uh, prophetically being the two witnesses the flood waters will come upon all this being of the perverse spirit of Egypt that brings the flood waters uh, of the river Nile that is muddied up not clear with truth uh, Babel confusion we are to come out of Babylon while there is still time the uh, the ark the mercy seat the time of probation the window of opportunity is still open uh, as in on Genesis 6 verse 6, 16 a window shall I make um, uh, to the make to the ark um, and um, and in a cubit shall I finish it above and in the door of the ark sh shut uh, shall I set in the side thereof with lower and second and three stories shall thy make it stories be in that celestial ladder where i am waits for uh, us at the top but first you are to take off your flesh put uh, um, uncircumcised and putting on your spirit your spiritual garment um, circumcised and then you climb the celestial ladder um, the staircase to the stop top as in stories um, back, and then we're going to go back to second peter um, chapter 3 verse 6 whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water um, perished um, world as in um, an orderly arrangement uh, perished as to be destroyed fully this being um, at the catable uh, this happened in Genesis chapter 1 um, verse 1 I'll just go there uh, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth and the earth was without um, form um, heaven as in celestial bodies and the earth as in firm um, wilderness and the earth was without form uh, as in worthless desert desolate and void as in as in vacuity as in the lack of thought empty-headedness uh, and darkness as in misery wickedness obscurity as in the state of being uh, unknown and hidden and uh, was upon the face of the deep the deep as in a surging mass of waters the abyss and the spirit uh, of God moved as to relax flutter um, uh, rest um, as an eagle stirreth up up his nest fluttereth over her young spreadeth abroad her wings taketh them beneath them on her wings upon the face of the waters and it shall be in that day that the living water shall go out from Jerusalem, half of them towards the former, as in the old, the ancient time, and half of them towards the hinder, as in the latter, uh, in summer and in winter shall it be. Jerusalem be in a condition of truth. Jerusalem shall be called a city of truth, the mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the and the earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And then uh, Second Peter uh, three verse uh, seven. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Uh, but but um, this fire, um, it was of the flood, uh, as in the first with Noah but it will be the flood of lies um, that will come against truth. But the fire will be the tongues of fire um, that will come against um, these uh, flood lies of, of um, uh, lies and deceit. Um, 
reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. These ungodly men that um, prevent are are preventing trying to prevent the Holy Spirit with um, marriage with um, the uh, with the church. Um, Okay, and where was I? And that being that one day, uh, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as in one day. Um, that being that one day, the Lord's day, and the Lord shall be king over all the earth, and that day there shall be one Lord and his name one. This being that seventh uh, day, the seventh um, thousandth um 7,000 um, time appointed when the spiritual man is to come forth and I will go back to Genesis uh, chapter 2 and read verses 1 through uh, 3 and the heavens and the earth were finished and all the host um, of them and on the seventh day God ended his work which he made and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made and God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made and then I'll just read four these are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they were created in the day that the Lord God made the earth in the heavens and then I'm gonna go back to um, second Peter um, chapter 3 verse 9 the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us, word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance, that all shall come to repentance, as um, the reversal of one's decision, a reformation as in the act of being reformed to make um, an make an improvement by changing a person's behavior or the structure of something um, come to the um, coming to the ark on um, the mercy seat while it's still um, probation time um, the six-day man can still work and do its labor but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in the which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up it will come as a thief to those that are of the night not to those that are of the day um, of the morning star the spiritual messenger of the morning that will warn the people um, that um, being a, um, an intercessor as was Noah to lead them into the ark and you brethren are not in darkness that the day should overtake you as a thief um, this being uh, in in the new heavens and the, in the new uh, earth, uh, the celestial, the works of the earth uh, shall be um, burned up. Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Um, coming of the day as in the Lord's day, um, he will purify um, this um, earth nevertheless we according to his promise look for a new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness dwelleth righteousness God's governmental foundation of the heavenly uh, new Jerusalem Jerusalem being a condition of truth and I John saw the holy city uh, not the great city which is spiritually called Sodom in Egypt where our Lord was crucified this being the new Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that you look for such things, be diligent that you may be found of him in peace, without spot and blameless, uh, found of him in peace, as in rest, as in Noah, tranquility, set at, one again, peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid these days I have spoken unto you that in me you might have peace in the world you shall have tribulation 
but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. We will not have peace in this world, but in him as to rest, abode, becoming one again, without spot as in the flesh. They have corrupted themselves. Their spot is not the spot of his children. They are a perverse and crooked generation. Thy aren't fair, my love. There is no spot in thee. How much more sh uh, shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God from the dead works as in flesh? Uh, they are dead to him. An account, an account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you, as also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest, as they do also the other scriptures, unto their own destruction. Epistles as a written message. And if any man obey not our word by this epistle as in a note, that man uh, and have no um, company with him uh, that he may be ashamed. I charge you by the, by the Lord that this epistle be read unto all uh, holy brethren. And I'm going to read in um, that epistle in First Thess Thessalonians. Uh, chapter 5 um, verse 1 we'll come back there though but of but of the times and the seasons brother and you have no need that I write unto you for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night for when they shall say peace and safety then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape for when they shall say peace and safety we are not to have peace of this world or, or safety we are to experience tribulation if you are in christ um, um, and destruction um, meaning apollyon abaddon and they had a king over them which is the angel as in a spiritual messenger of the bottomless pit um, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, as in destroying angel, um, but in the Greek tongue has his name Apollyon, uh, destroyer, that is uh, Satan. But you, brethren, are not in darkness that the day should overtake you as a thief. You are the children of light, as in spiritual illumination, and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Let us not sleep as to slumber. We are to be on watch for that visitation. Uh, this is when you will be awoken um, by those church bells. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are, are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love and a helmet, the hope of salvation. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, um, Lord as in uh, Yahweh, Jesus as Yeshua, Savior, Christ as Christos, the Anointed One, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him, live together with him as in one body. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also you, um, you do. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you, and to esteem them in ev and very highly in love for their work's sake, and be at peace among yourselves. Um, uh, at peace, as in one in Christ. Um, among yourselves and as in the many membered body of spirit filled people now we exhort you brother and warn them that are unruly comfort the feeble minded support the weak be patient towards all men see that none render evil for evil unto any man but ever follow that which is good 
both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice uh, evermore. Pray without season, and everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Quench not the spirit. Uh, quench us to uh, extinguish. Go out. Despise not prophesying. Approve all things. Hold fast that which is good. Uh, prove all things. Test the spirits that prophesy. If they lead you to the word, the spirit, Yahweh, um, um, Lord Jesus Christ, uh, Yahweh, Yeshua, uh, Christos, the anointed one, um, the one God, or do they um, speak um, and lead you to man? Pro abstain from all appearance of evil, and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly, and I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that calleth you, who, who also will do it. He who call you forth, this being that um, that, um, that, uh, um, that vision of that man sleeping that will let you know you are part of the Levitical priesthood of the end days. Brethren, pray for us. Greet all the brethren with a holy kiss. I charge you by the Lord that this epistle be read unto all the holy brethren. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. The grace um, as in the mercy seat. Uh, still time on to re repent. And then we're going to go back to um, 2 Peter uh, 3. Sixteen, And also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to understand, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest, as they do also the scriptures and, and unto their own destruction. Those that are unlearned as to be ignorant, they are not of the spirit. Their eyes and ears have not been opened uh, at the marriage visitation. They are still in the flesh. The scriptures will not be open to them in, um, to them um, until they take on the spirit of Yahweh. Uh, he will hide his face from them. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob by the name of God Almighty. But by my name Yahweh was I not known to them. They know Jesus Yeshua Savior, but they do not know Yahweh, the self-existent one, the eternal, um, that men may know um, that thou whose name alone is Yahweh art the most high over all the earth. He is the one that stands above the celestial ladder. And behold, uh, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father, and the God of Isaac, the lamb wherein thy lie is to thee, will I give it into thy seed, this being of the um, seed of the stars. But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and and forever amen to him be glory this be in yahweh the self-existent one and the lord shall be king over all the earth in that day there shall be one lord and his name one and i'm going to finish it with Je um revelation 20 starting with 11 to 15. and i saw a great white throne and him that sat on it from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were open, and another book was open, which is the book of life, and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works, uh, the dead as in um, the flesh that did not take on the spirit before um, the probation time um, during that probation time. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, uh, the sea being the peoples, multitudes, nations, and tongues that the beast will rise up out of. And death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, uh, death as in grave, um, hell, and they were judged every man according to their works, um, because they are not in that one way, um, which is, um, Jesus Christ. Um, they choose their own works, so they'll be judged on them. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. Um, this is the second death. Whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast in to that lake of fire. 
And we're going to end this today, elect. You have a great day until the morning.